Hey guys, it's your boy Homo Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're back here with Jar Funky Driver. And this was basically five months ago, so he somewhat got because from the last song where I reacted to him, from one of the comments that I reacted down below saying about Jar Roast Beef, y'all like that video, and whoever hasn't watched it yet go check it out it was a it was out for that boom bap the boom bap rap boom bap rap kind of thing right there and and a lot of people and some people like and people liked it so I figured why not to go back to reacting to some of his music and like I said this was basically five months ago literally this year April funky drummer so and so far and I'm not going to, and first things first, yes, I know. Alright, for those who haven't, I just put up a new reaction from 21 Savage and Metro Boomin's running, so go check that out. And just to hit you with a little warning, it got blocked at first, but I had to cut some stuff. I, I, I had to basically cut a big chunk of it, and so like a little well not a little but some chunks of it so but it's like this I always make sure I leave the original link to the video down in description below so but if you still like my reaction to it leave a like there and let me know what you think of it so I just gotta give you a little heads up on that but and another noted thing you see in that video you see me with a with some thick hair and so yes I got my hair cut I know I look weird to me personally I always look weird on my hair it's cut it's, I didn't say nothing's wrong with it but it's just I want when I'm looking I, I know I'm 20 years old but I want when I'm reacting to videos I look like I'm 50 but like I said we back here with some jar of against and I basically just literally got I basically just searched them up back on YouTube and See any new music or react to some of his old music here. Yeah. We got back here with Funky Trouble. So, we about to check this video out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I bring the trouble, y'all. My name is Dar, that's the perpetual underdog. Like Cod Stubble Fear when he banging the skins. Ain't none of y'all in the category. Nathan is in when he rocking the mic. It's really quiet and light. Taking a competitor's life when he blocking my life. My talking is tight, tight. Pelified at the trite. I set a beat up with the jab and then connect with the right. The uppercuts are. I'm a bad motherfucker. Never could you contest the rap sucker. What's up? Wash up your ass with the bar of salt. And I read like some of the comments on this video. It said that he made the beat. I can tell. He got, it got that kind of like 70s, 80s kind of vibe and such. But it's like so far I like it. And there he goes again. And it's like I noticed when he he does like a he does like a little Eminem thing where if he hears that one syllable and such. He gonna stick with it in a little rhyme scheme or so, and I like it so far. Like, listen to it. No, listen to it. I'm a bad motherfucker. Never could you contest the rap sucker. What's up? Wash up your ass with the bar of salt. And then give me my cash, cause my rap is dope. I'm hanging plaques up. All space filling up quick. I dance like James Brown while I'm drilling your chick. Admit it, I'm sick. Hit it, it, quit it, lick it, he's lit. I finna giving your baby a little kid. And I did, but I'm kidding with ya. Bust it off on the belly. And then put on my belly belly. And peel out on Pirelli's. Already read in the vision. And with a bit of precision, I'll send a deadly rhythm. Raising that your hand like a Kennedy. Let me back up. Damn. Two things. One, my dad's playing music out here, so I hope it doesn't. So I hope music doesn't catch that part. And two, sorry about that. There's some person, some person, guy or whatever out there on his motorbike. But 
that didn't distract me from the fact that this man is snapping and a lot of people saying fast rap they're just saying a bunch of gibberish and it's like this even if it is they saying it gibberish and all the fact that you could be able to say it in that sort of speed I don't care if it's gibberish or actual words the fact that you can say it at that type of speed is amazing to me and like like listen to this say don't judge a book by its cover and that right there just proves it that he may look some type of way and stuff but in the end it's like this it don't matter what race you are who how you look or whatever or what skin color or whatever at the end of the day if you got bars you if you got bars you gonna be accepted no matter what so trust me when I tell you this a lot of people always want to go for these mainstream rappers and all some of them are good some are trash but it's like this when it comes to like rapping rap that rapidly rap rap and so and so people like Jarv are very very sorry about that that's my phone very underrated and it's like this it's people like Jarv that actually try to make music what it is again like try to have some meaning towards it some like bars and so and so where in today's genre of music where you flex about money cars women and all that but and it's like this some rappers of this genre are sticking out are trying to stick out of that like polo g of course little baby just those two i can name off the band because those two i like listening to they have one of my favorite rappers and all and like the lyrical rappers i mostly listen to are like jordan lucas eminem of course duh, who don't if you don't listen to eminem something wrong with you and there's other people but i forgot but and worse the five nine, but it's like this, and just and it's like it's just because I say I listen to them, I don't be like heavy on them all the time and all. I listen to a few of their music, not all of them, but but like I and it's like this. And even though I listen to a lot of hip hop, just know this: I'm for people though for from like way back in my other videos, from when I did like different speaking different languages. You see, you will see a Haitian one, a Jamaican one, and a Spanish one. Out of those three, I'm mostly the. I'm at heart a Jamaican, no matter what. So you know, I'm always gonna listen to my Jamaican music, straight up. But I always say, what's wrong with diversity? You can't just listen to the same old thing every single day. You gotta listen to something else. But, but like I said, oh, Jarv. Funky, funky drummer it had that kind of funky type to it so I like it but let me know what you think down in the comments below it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up there you go